So question 13, I, I really like questions like question 13. Uh, questions like this uh, uh, could make a good um, final exam question and maybe even exam three question because I think everything that's needed here is actually um, addressed. Um, addressed within the exam three topics. So the reason I like questions like this is because it requires you to use your physics knowledge from multiple parts of the class. So this question gives you the uh, mass linear mass density of the string, but um, and it's asking for the wave speed. And I guess having been given linear mass density, I am remembering wave speed is equal to square root of tension divided by mu, but I'm not seeing any information for tension. And I hope as you look at this, you realize uh, not too, too late that this is a static equilibrium question because you need to work out what the tensions are. Uh, let me call this tension A and tension B, by the way, because they are not going to be the same. Yeah, so, uh, so that's it, that's your starting place realizing that this question has a force problem embedded in it. Once you realize that, then I hope you choose to draw the uh, free body diagram of this point, because that's the most useful thing to have free body diagram of. Oops, so let me draw free body diagrams off on the side here. Then once you get that far, then the free, free body diagram of that point is, well, there's a, a mass that's pulling it down uh, at mg, five kilograms and you have tension force, tension A, which is pointing to the left, and you have tension force, tension B, which is moving a little bit upward and to the right. And here's my angle theta. And um, so now is probably the time in the semester when you can uh, skip some of the standard strategy steps if you recognize what you need to do from here. Here, um, let me just go through the standard strategy steps. I drew a free body diagram. Second step is define coordinate axis. And I think I'm gonna define it this way. Just regular X horizontal Y vertical. Then, okay, so at this step two, step three is decompose your forces into components. One of the tension is fine, MG is fine. So I have this tension B, which needs to be broken into X and Y components. And um, once you do that, then I hope you realize that it's only the Y component of TB that's balancing out the gravity, gravitational pull of 5K, uh, 5K kilogram. So uh, I guess this is the part where I was imagining kind of uh, skipping some of the standard strategy steps because as, when I come this far, then I can just write out, okay, the Y component of TB is equal to MG. And then um, the, for the X component, you would say, oh, the X component of TB is equal to the entire TA. And uh, let me just go through a couple more steps to show you what steps you need to finish are. Both of these components can be expressed in terms of the magnitude, TB, and um, the trig function involving theta. So right now it's uh, um, Y component, so TB uh, sine theta. Then the, um, the, the X component should be TB cosine theta. I'm looking at this triangle here, uh, which I think is giving the right numbers. All right, then um, you, um, then you realize you have one, two equations and one, two unknowns, solve for them. Solve for TA and TB and then, um, and then uh, plug that uh, tension into this velocity formula to get the wave speed. And I guess to give one last uh, final recommendation, what I probably would do is solve this 
for TB first. Uh, I guess I'll just do it. Say that TB here is equal to mg divided by sine theta, which is correct. You're not just saying it. That is the answer. Uh, plug in the numbers. You are given the theta. Once you have TB, then you can calculate TA just from this relationship. So once you have them, then you plug in the numbers to get the speeds. Okay. So, um, I, I was looking at some of the portable TA questions and there were questions like this. I could imagine, uh, easily imagine putting on either exam three or the final exam because uh, one of the nice way you, uh, this question can be extended is by adding standing wave component to it. There's a lot of different ways you can go. So that's why I wanted to bring it up. 